Welcome back ladies and gentlemen, it's Benedict here again from Jagging and Company Associates and I want us to continue learning our accounting with the, uh, chapter 2 and chapter 2 we'll be talking about accounting for revenues and expenses and uh, in chapter 2 we'll learn about uh, source documents we'll learn about uh, the books of original entry we we'll learn about uh, journals, we'll learn about cash book. Okay, we'll also learn about uh, the ledgers. We'll also learn about the double entry concept, or we'll try to revisit the double entry concept. Then we'll learn about uh, trial balance, we'll learn about uh, financial statements. And then lastly, we'll also learn about uh, in the manual versus computerized accounting system. So let's just begin. I'll take you to where we've explained uh, the source documents. So let me take you to this other template. So here we are uh, saying that uh, uh, source document source document is a document the original document that contains the details of the business transaction a source document captures the key information about a transaction such as the name of or rather the names of the parties involved amounts paid if any the date the substance of the transaction so you have quite a number of source documents we have uh, uh, invoices, we have bills, we have receipts, we have uh, checks, we have statements, we have deposit slips, we have purchase orders, and then we also have employee time cards. So we'll try to, to explain uh, quite a few of them, or rather we we'll try to explain uh, four source documents, and uh, the four that we'll explain are uh, uh, invoice, uh, bills, receipts, and checks, and these are the four. We'll just talk briefly about them, but I want you to try to uh, do some more research or just try to read more about uh, statement, deposit slip, purchase orders, employee time cards on your own. So, what are invoices? If we start with invoice. So we are saying here an invoice is a document that records the products or services you provided to your customers, the total amount due, the method of the for the pay rather the, the method for for them to pay you for those items and services. You can send electronic invoices or paper invoices. Invoices can be paid in one payment or installment. So we are saying invoices is a document that records the products. It records the details of the products or services that you provided to your customers. So invoices have uh, various contents. We have uh, we have the name of uh, address of the seller. We have the name and address of the buyer. We have a description of goods. Uh, the quantity, size, weight, quality. You see, we have value of the goods. It contains the net amount payable. It also contains terms and condition of payment. So we can say terms uh, rather. We can talk of 30 days. We can also talk of 60 days. We can also talk of cash payment. So those are terms of payment. And the invoice must have a date of the invoice. And then lastly, invoice must have stamp and signature of the seller. Of course, there are quite more details about uh, an invoice. But now this one, we are we are talking about um, uh, invoice within a, within a geographical region. If it if if uh, you are talking about an invoice uh, from a different country to our to a different country, 
we'll be talking about the shipping uh, shipping details of the invoice uh, maybe the bill of lading and all that but this one just a uh, local and regional invoice so we are saying it contains uh, uh, name and address of the seller, name and address of the buyer, description of goods like quantity, size and weight, value of goods, net amount payable, terms and conditions of payment, date of invoice, stamp and signature of the seller. So this must be must appear in an invoice. And then as we continue, we are also saying that uh, this is a sample invoice. So a sample invoice will look like this. It's not a standard invoice, but it's just a sample. So the sample invoice will have a, a logo. Logo is here. So this logo is just for the logo for the for the seller or the logo of the business that is uh, selling uh, services or goods to customers. So the logo will be on top here, and then we are saying the invoice must must have an invoice date. So the date will be here. Then the invoice must have an invoice number. So when you are doing quite a number of invoices, they, they have to be numbered one, two, three, four, uh, five, six, like that. So they must have invoice numbers. And then maybe you are uh, invoicing against a purchase order. Uh, so purchase order is that document that uh, is coming from the buyer to the seller and is telling the seller that I want these particular goods. Uh, in this uh, quantity, in this amount, and all that. So that's the um, purchase order. So an invoice will also have the purchase order number from this from the from the buyer. So an invoice must have the details of the buyer. So the details here is the street address, uh, the city code, the zip code, the phone number, the fax. Um, you can also have the email address and then when you talk about the details of uh, the buyer the invoice must have the details of the buyer the name uh, if it is the buyer is a company it has it must have the name of the company the street address and uh, the zip code of course the, the phone number of the buyer and then invoice will also be have a could also be having a discount as the detail on it and then of course the invoice must have the details of what what are being uh, sold so we'll have items being sold in terms of quantity their description we also have the unit price and then we'll have the total amount of uh, the items being sold and then down here we'll also have and the exact amount that we are supposed to uh, the sub the customers to pay and if there's a discount we must also put a uh, discount value the discount percentage and if there's a uh, tax involved like value or the tax we must also have uh, such kind of details so this is just a sample invoice it is not a standard invoice so but most of the contents of an invoice are within so you must consider what to have the name of the seller the name of the buyer the details of the buyer the details of the seller data on invoice number on invoice uh, the quantity and uh, the items being sold and the amount and the total amount payable and then the terms of payment so as we move forward also we have uh, uh, we have also another source document called bill so we are saying bill is a document outlining the amount of a, amount a customer owes for goods received or services rendered it is printed or written out as a statement of the charges so when you are a buyer but uh, and you receive a bill rather when you receive an invoice you can consider that as a bill because down there it will show you that the amount due that you're supposed to pay but from the seller's point of view the view will just will just outline the amount the customer needs to pay it will not show all those details that are uh, uh, the the quantity the value 
uh, item price item by item price the bill uh, might not show from the perspective of the seller it will just outline a specific amount that is being owed by uh, the buyer so contents of an uh, invoice so this should be contents of a uh, of a bill not an invoice so let me just try to change this one to cost contents of, uh, of a bill contents of a bill so here we are saying that the contents of a bill um a bill is issued before payment is sent a bill service a record for customer of goods and services uh, and acts as a reminder of payment owing when you receive an invoice from a supplier as a customer you enter it in your books as a bill that must be paid so this is not contents of a bill but it is uh, uh, the characteristics of a bill so this is characteristics of a bill but not the content so again let's try to change this to uh, characteristics of a bill not the contents of character characteristics of a bill okay so you're saying a bill is issued before payment is sent okay so so in a sense even an invoice can be a bill because an invoice can also be issued before payment is um, um, is sent by the by the buyer a bill serves as a record for the customer of the goods or services provided by a business and acts as a reminder of payments owing so you can just send a bill to a customer but not without the details but you just show the, the customer that this is the amount that you're supposed to pay for the for this particular period may for the month of january you are this much for the month of february you are this much so you will not go to the details of the the date of the like the date of the invoice the the, the quantity of item that you sold the price per item and the net amount payable you will just be general uh, in terms of the amount that you want to be paid uh, maybe per month or maybe within a particular period of time so again we are saying when you receive an invoice from a supplier as a customer you enter it in your books as a bill that must be paid that is self-explanatory so again here you also have a, a difference the difference between a bill and invoice so we are saying use, using the word invoice can imply specific detail of goods supplied or services rendered like the payment terms the quantity the details of the seller and the buyer date of invoice amount of each item or service total amount and payment terms whereas a bill is a simple statement of what is due so we are saying a bill is just a simple statement of what is due as opposed to uh, as opposed to an uh, invoice that will contain quite a number of details like date amount payable details of the seller and the buyer item price by item price total amount payable and the terms of payment so that's all about uh, the bills and an and, and, and invoices so ladies and gentlemen let's continue the next uh, video uh, now let's continue the next video with the, the resheets and the difference between resheet and invoice so thanks a lot for watching and let's meet again on the next video